What is up gamers and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. Uh, just quickly before we uh, jump into anything, uh, just going to go, uh, the Marvel Avengers episode that went up before this, the Future Revolution, do excuse the uh, resolution for it. Uh, the thing didn't stuff up, I just forgot to switch over the, uh, my, uh, my phone was set to the one I usually use to make, well these videos so the resolution looks a little bit smaller than usual just I do apologize for it's, it's not by all means anywhere uh, unwatchable it's just you'll see black lines on the side of the on the side of the uh, screen mainly because iPhone screens are not as big as like what it is when I'm playing on TV or on computer screen uh, so obviously it's how you would see it on my screen but like with its personal tab i usually have it so it cuts off that side uh i clearly forgot to change that uh, before i started so i do apologize for the fact that that one's a little awkward in terms of uh the video of for it uh that being said it's still perfectly watchable it's just going to be a lot a little bit smaller screen but anyway that being said uh last episode for this uh well you can see we're currently in some land device uh, I forget what this place is called but uh we did go up against uh, Zoog, uh, the Z giant Zoogle giant wolf Zoogle uh, we did meet a new character I don't we don't know his name he sort of just appeared and was just slicing everything up and then sort of just left uh, I'm I, I said the last episode I still believe it I feel like he's gonna be someone that's like like the main main character like with all these games, like, there's always, like, different villains throughout the game, but, like, all, like, A, B, C, they all point to, like, one main goal. So, I feel like he's gonna be, like, the main, main villain of the game. He just, I don't know, he gave me those sort of vibes. I could be wrong, uh, but he definitely does feel like that. But anyway, we are currently going on to try and save Zephyr, who was captured uh, after trying to, uh, fight his son, reason with his son. I think it was supposed to fight, but he kind of just stood there and took a beating, so I guess it's kind of reasoning at this point. I don't think it's really fighting when he didn't even fight back, but... Who knows? What goes through his head? Land of Glistening Radiance. Look at giant lighthouse. <laughs> there it is, Sisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday street lights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I mean, if they're saying someone will set it up, I feel like it's got to be, it's got to be Law, right? I hate camping out. Law was the only one to seem, no, uh, but I don't, did he know about his dad though is the question. I think he's saying something's over there. We got a quest from an owl. I don't need to give priority to it, but we'll definitely check it out. Oh, he's just saying who to. Well, that's, wait, we're going somewhere. Ew. Uh, well, this escalated quickly. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? 
Yeah, let's go and explore. What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow. Ah, that's what he gets out of it. It doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? Why is this owl got a crown? What is this place? I see something big farther in. Is that a zookum? No. An owl? Poodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. It's an owl with a crown. Night battle garb? Dyed, wait. Dye hand clothing, dyed uh, pitch black, top to bottom. Or? Was there a purpose to come in here? I mean, we've got armor, I guess. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> How are owls so small compared to them? <laughs> this one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. I don't even know what to say to this. <laughs> it's a village of owls. Also, there's different natures of owls. Does that mean that... Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? Just thinking, like, as we find them, do they appear Such here? A big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are, and a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Poodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. I want to know how that owl got us over here, because it clearly can't pick us all up. I'm just saying, unless it's got like some magical oh. teleporting. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Birdie bestie. Oh, we increase him. Oh, that increases her maximum. Uh, owls will find. Uh, owls you find will gather in the owl forest. There is an owl king and owl queen in this forest, and you can tell. To the, uh, not tell. You can talk to the king to get rewards based on the number of hours you've located. So it is. It's all different zones. Does that mean we've found all the hours for this zone? I mean, there's three spots missing. I'm guessing probably not, right? Well, anyway, before we move on. Was it for Rinwell? We got something. No idea what we got though. Fair enough. We'll, we'll just leave it for now. I swear we got some like some black robe or something, but it doesn't really seem like we got anything. So I'm a little confused at what it gave me. Unless it's just clothing for, I don't know. Do we get more character? No, I think there's, I think there's at least one more character we get. I think I do remember seeing one more. Maybe it could be for them. I mean, I, I don't know. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is... The Silver Sword. Heck, we... Exactly. Let's go here. Let's have a look. Working within the snake eyes gathering intel for us. 
Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. Oh, it's on the boat. But it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated. Okay, well, that's not really going anywhere. Ah, yes, we're going down then, because it's not really. We had another boat back in the last area we were at, but I mean that one like led to like a ocean or something. This is a cave. At least it leads to like a submarine. Did something there? No idea what I just did. No idea what I just did. I just seem to be teleporting all over the place. I don't actually know what I just did. I need something to eat. Our work is done. Oh, wrong button. Here. Wait, so feel like we need to go this way, right? Move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I don't know. Okay, that looks like a cave over there, so I'm guessing this is where we need to go. I could be wrong. No, because I do remember seeing this. Okay, so we are going the right way. Today we're going to take on the ugly werewolf looking thing. I feel like I do no damage to these guys. Oh, we're getting there. I mean, these things are, uh... A little bit tanky, like I just feel like I'm doing no damage to these guys. Bang! He did. There we go. I mean, they were uh, reasonably tanky. I'm ready for the next battle. Yeah, found tunnel. Hey, Rinwell! What are you doing here? If the snake eyes spot you here, they'll... So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, Azugul took a bite out of two of our guys, but... What matters is you're safe. So, are you gonna introduce me? <laughs> Meet Alvin so and Shion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. Why is there a base in a secret entrance to get to the castle? Is she like secretly working for them? I mean, I've said this since the start. I, I, I think I'm favoring her because she has an L, but I feel like she's part of a traitor. Den's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. Think? There's a chest. Can we get it? Milk? Oh, well, hello. All right, well, as we're going up, because this is a very small alleyway. I will say the one thing I missed with this not being on console is the loading. Like, if this was on on PlayStation 5, the loading screen would be gone already. It has like a 20, 30 second just loaded. But the resistance is literally like under their nose. I think that, I think she said there were resistance, right? Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Don't exactly so this is know where this thing is. The city of Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. Uh. We are basically walking into a Zugul's den here. I don't actually know where this. This doesn't show up on the map. I guess I'm just running around until I find something.
We got a fast travel point. I mean, that's. Yeah, but you're not useful. All right. Well, guess we just keep going. We're bound to find something eventually, right? I kind of wish the star would like mark. Okay, well now it does. this there with me if you say so come on menix waiting we can talk in there well this is a place where you want that fire sword <laughs> that fire sword will keep you nice and toasty while you're in a place like wherever this is The name's Menek, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts. And mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first... We've got some urgent business to take care of. I feel like when they're sleeping, they're just gonna try and kill Shia. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. To be honest, the inside of this place does not match the outside. Silver sword. And she just keeps maxing out her AP, apparently. I still haven't used any of the skill. I keep getting put the skills on. This is the end. Get it. Well, keep an eye out for that. Right, well, yes. I mean, the goal is to try and save Zephyr this episode. Whether we get to that point, I have no idea. I'm just guessing maybe we will for how f fast the uh, first part went, but... Who knows? I don't exactly know where we need to go. I guess we're going to run around. So that's where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. 
Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. We'll just get like a mission to take them all out. I kind of want to see what happens if we turn off all those lights. Damn, you can see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. Right, there. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. Hmm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Uh, I'm everybody walking around. Guessing we go this way, best. right? Can you blame them? I, mean, I don't know any. Uh, maybe. Because any other way I go, I'm just running away from it. They live under the oh, yeah, I am. I can see where the night. star is. It's bound to weigh you down. Hey! Oh, you there, miss. Yes, what is it? I've received reports of you wandering beyond your living quarters to uh, and work area. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I... Ugh. This doesn't look good, Elfin. You're not conspiring with any rebels, are you? What? Perish the thought. I have young children to look after. Kids whose parents were sent to work floodlights. Damn. Is that so? Well, I've heard it all before, lady. I'm sending you to the floodlights for going out of bounds be, uh, without permission. You can tell those parents how their kids are, how their kids are when you get there. No. no, please. Who's going to take care of them? If I'm not around to help them. Or oh, we get every game I swear we become some sort of kindergarten. We always have to look after the little kids. We've done it in like so many games. Watch it watch it be in this game. We're gonna end up babysitting a bunch of them. Not my problem. Nobody asked you to take them in the beginning. Uh, to begin with. Come with me. That's how uh, you get shipped off. It doesn't take much. This is insane. Wait, where's she by the way? Was she not with us? Here's your reward. If you find anyone else suspicious, be sure to report them too. Right, of course. Thank you very much. Hey. Do you know what you just did? Hmm? Huh? Oh, for no. That woman you turned in was looking after kids who had no parents. So, w what's it to me? Why you? Huh? Oh, he's in for me. Why? Uh, my parents got sent to the floodlights too, you know. They came back in a sorry state. They can't work and put food on the table, so I've got to do what I, what I can to make ends meet. That doesn't mean you can simply... Who are you? Then you feed us. Come on, give us some food. I'm waiting. Uh, he just ran off. That's food and he bolts it. I shouldn't have yelled like that. Elfin. Sorry. Sorry about that, Rinwell. Let's get out of here. We have uh, we have a realm to save and Zephyr. Watch him snitch on us. He snitches on us. Uh, we have a fire sword. That's all that has to be said on the matter. So how big is this area? It's a lot of different paths. It's definitely a lot bigger area than uh, than what the first zone was for sure. Seems a lot bigger actually. A spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. 
The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Lightmaster Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago. But apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. That would suck. Your, your, your sleeping patterns would just be... I mean, mine are never that good anyway, but they would just be all over the place. You would never be able to tell what's day and night. You would just literally fall asleep whenever you're tired. Like, some people could literally stay out for like Wandering around blindly 48 hours and wouldn't know. The snake eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there. Oh. It's Law. That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift wrapped for us. Hey, what are you? He still reminds me of Tanjiro. I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? <sighs> Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, <sighs> We're here to rescue him. <sighs> why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh, yeah. Easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the bright eyes. He never even made it to mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renan woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renans, but at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know you- I was about to say, watch him get electric kill someone. What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father, but what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. Uh, I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight, but he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind, I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us, please. I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him in the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. <laughs> hey! 
Get me honest, the law is a. Uh... If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat. Oh, back we go. I was gonna say, he's not having the greatest time. First he gets his ass launched across the snow by Rinwell. <laughs> then he gets pretty much electrocuted by Shion. Uh, he just seems to be a magnet to getting hit by something. I mean, it's not electric. It's like thorns, I think they call it. But I mean, to me, it just looks like ele purple electric. It's like Sith electric. It's literally what it reminds me of, so... That's what it is. Electric. But it looks cool, though. But I mean, it was kind of obvious he was going to do that. You try to fight it, you just get shocked. Or prickled. Whatever you want to call it. So, you made it back in one piece. No promising leads unearthed on this end, I'm afraid. It may take a little longer. We got our own lead, but it's not good. They're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. They must believe he poses a grave threat. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand, which means if we can... S Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted... Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Menik. We got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Brinwell, you know what to do. Underground waterway to the rear. On it. But... No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already. Someone's a traitor. Unless they just followed. Unless Law snitched. But no, I don't think... I know. He seems like he's conflicted. Like he's letting his ego for his dad. But at the same time, like, obviously being his father, he doesn't want him to die, but I don't know. So this passage runs beneath the whole city, huh? Pretty clean for a Dan and sewer. Are you sure it's safe down here, Rinwell? It's our emergency evacuation route. So it should be. You sure it's as secret as you think? We can use this chance to clear the way for Menek and the others when they follow. Let's go. I mean, a place full of water, not really we sure how well we can puzzle over a, a fight sword's gonna be, but... Oh. What's this? Like seeds on the floor. That thing's about to cash... Oh, ca cast an astral art. I'll handle it. I can stop it, no problem. Wait, but an ooze? Attacks, uh, attacks an enemy. Oh, magic cancel. Attacks an enemy with a special art that dis uh, disrupts al astral energy. If the enemy is hit with it while casting an art, you'll be downed, and Rinwell will still uh, steal the spell and cha uh, charge it. Leaving them unable to use it again for a while. May I try to remember it? If you spot any art fielders, let me know. Will do. Much obliged. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. That's my cue. We did one. Shut him down. It's over. Cyan is back into the front. There we go. I think I understand it. Uh, magic cancel. So that's what. So hers is an attack. Hers is a. I thought it was attack, but now it probably makes sense. But I never see it do damage because it's. Uh, it's something. Uh, if you see an enemy about to cast an astral art, that's your cue. That's your cue to deploy Rinwell. If you hit the enemy with her boost, uh, boost attack. As they're casting their spell, she'll steal it and be able to use it for herself later. That sounds kind of kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting down slowly. Don't take your eyes off the clock. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Guess we just keep focusing until they're about to use something. Bang. Alright, well now I know what our ability does. I mean, what if I knew about it a bit earlier, but I didn't. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. They were a little annoying because you had to wait for them to uh, use their abilities. We'll go with Dan and get that. I guess we're going to fight them. I was going to avoid them, but... Oh, wait, can I get in and out without them seeing me? Can I? I cannot. I want to try. But I want to get those so we can try and make some more stronger... Uh, Also, I feel like I just do no damage to these guys. He isn't using the ability, I just... I don't feel like I need some better... Some more gear. Like, again, I just feel like I do no damage. Okay, that time, that time I felt like I did a bit more. Maybe because all three of us were attacking at once. I did get it. Alright, back we go. In here too. The zone here. We'll explore, we'll explore this area. We'll go to all these zones. Uh, there's a chest. I want the chest. I don't think it's a good chest. I don't think. I don't know. I know the red ones usually give some, uh, something. Something. Oh, I'm getting him down slowly. Oh, we reset. I shouldn't be standing in whatever this is, but I am. Because I'm terrible at dodging anything. Wait, what was that water move? That felt like it did so much. I think it took up the whole area. I don't know if that was Shion's or if that was Rinwell's. Mine. Okay, it was just money, so it wasn't really anything special in the end. Uh, it's fine. We know which way we need to go, so let, we'll check this way, see if there's anything. It's one of these guys that are injured. We're not saving him, because usually it gives something. No choice. I missed everything. We're just spamming all their abilities just to speed this up. Oop, I used the wrong button. Hey, it's fine. We still killed it. I want to use an execution thing. I. Her eyes look so sick when they glow. I tried to get away from the snake eyes only to get attacked by Zoogles. I'll give you this if you promise not to turn me in. I don't know what it is, but sure, I'll take it. Ooh. Rude. Of course these things drop out of nowhere. I don't even know where they came from. Ooh, my, uh... Man, five of these is a little rough. They seem to do, uh... I am... Wait, I'm taking a pounding from these things. She doesn't have a thing up, so I can't actually get it up. Not the one I want to target, but I mean... It, it, Oh, I want two health. Oh, oh. Are 
They seem to be, they're a little annoying to be, not gonna lie. And I'm on one health. She still has enough to heal me. But that was annoying. They do a lot of damage, those things. Uh, if your party runs out of CP, you won't be able to ca uh, cast healing or support arts to restore its staying in. There was one at the start. We might have to run back and get it. Fighting in this state isn't advisable. What do we get? An onyx cloak? Hey, new equipment! I'm guessing that's for Rinwell, right? It's a lot better for her. actually. Do I? I want to see something. I do. Guy looks adorable with the hat. I want to see the clothing. That actually looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, the swimsuits. School. Wait, that I like that. That looks cool. Alright, and we'll keep up with what she has on. I just want to look at it. Alright, anyway, let's run back. Because it wasn't in at the start. We're going to get our health. Oh, there's more of these annoying little blob things. Uh, I am hoping that resting won't revive everything, but knowing my luck, it probably will. But we're going to. We'll find out. Where is it? Oh, this one is what we want. We'll cook this. Gaining some CP after battles, actually. Well, I like it. It might not be the best thing I can do, but... I know. To me, I... I... Okay, so it does spawn back some of the guys. It doesn't spawn back the little... Shell... Peanut-looking things. These things. And also probably avoid them, right? Maybe. Yes, we can. Good. I'll take the uh, avoiding them. Uh huh. I didn't even jump. Don't tell me they're gonna fall in here with me. Oh no, they're going back to their zone. All right. Oh, but these ones will. I tried avoiding them. That thing's apparently a lot bigger than it looks. I just keep moving so I don't get hit by things. I mean, we did get reroll some uh, gear. Bang! Now I feel like we're doing some damage to it. <laughs> Until it runs off and I can't hit it anymore. I'm just going to use everything just so I can kill it faster, honestly. I love that ability. There we go. I know, when uh, Elfin and Rinwell tag together, it looks really cool. It's more stones, why not, while we're here? More antidote rock. Something over there, but I don't know if it's worth actually trying to get it. It just looks like a plant. There's something there. Oh, it's a, uh, on the jar thing, I guess. Restores a thou- damn, okay. Oh, well this ain't good. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a plant. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need it. It, it. it could be something good. But frankly, I can't be ours dealing with those slime things. Oh, one of these. Nice. I not really needed it, but... Okay, so we know which way we need to go. I, just want, I want to get it, but it's just 
we'll pass on just this once. We're gonna get this looks like a boss zone. Let's just go up against like some giant slime or something. It is a giant slime. Looks like we found our mystery resident. The snake eyes must have kept it here in case of intruders. We can't let it slow us down. Let's finish it. And keep Ew. <laughs> I feel like the place like this, I, I, I feel like I had a feeling it, this was coming. Then we'll just have to beat it. For everyone's sake. Hey, open your mouth. I, mean, I would love to, but he wouldn't get it out of his mouth. Think I'm hitting it to some extent? I'm going to break this thing in its face eventually. I can't hit it. Oh, I'm like stuck in whatever this is. I can't even get this thing's mouth. Well, we I mean, we're slowly getting it down, but. It just lives somehow. Wait, this thing is like, quite annoying, not gonna lie. I just, I don't know how to change the target of what I'm targeting. There we go, did something. Now just smack around as much as I can. We really wish this thing was anything but its mouth. Oh, we summoning the little things. I feel like I should target these things to get them out of the way. I always got one of them down. Boy, I'll admit, this thing is a. Uh, I don't know if I can say it's tough or just annoying. Also, can you get off me? I can't even see my guy. There we are. really know how to change the target. Like, I wish it would just target things that I'm close to, but he just has some real obsession with trying to hit the big guy. Blow it up. Boom. Alright. Well, seeing we need some more of these, uh... Gives us a bit more potions to use. <laughs> I just ran straight into it. Whoops. My bad. It's, if I had to say one issue with this game, it's probably the lock on. Like, I know there's probably a way to change your target. Like, look, no matter how hard I try, this dumbass does not want to stop targeting the big guy. Like, I'm trying to target the little thing. No matter what button I press, just nothing seems to, uh,. Attack it, it's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Actually, not a little, it's really annoying, but. Uh... Where is it? Yep. 
Primrose down. I want to attack him at the same time. Oh, uh, once again, I'm getting absolutely clobbered. Uh, maybe I need to buy a bunch of these, honestly. I tend to go out of my... Uh, Oh, don't mind me. I'm gonna keep trying to take it on, I don't... I think we actually dodged one for a change. Maybe not. See, it's so annoying! This ugly blob just jumps every two seconds and I'm like locked in attack with it. Not to mention, for some reason, it just will not let you target anyone else other than the blob. I don't care for the blob. I'm going to kill this thing in its mouth. Oh, I mean, we're using through all of these. I need to find see if I can get some bigger ones. Oh, this thing's trying to target me. Going in. Lord's mouth over. Oh, oh there we go. Big attack. I think we missed it. Oh no. I said almost don't get carried away. It's full mind if I do. Hey, I thought I stopped it. My lord, this thing is so annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I I like don't get wrong, I love this game. There's so much I like about it, but I hate the targeting system. Like, I'm not allowed to target, apparently I'm not target allowed to target anything but the big asshole in the background. And I'm trying to switch target, like I've pressed everything, I've pressed every button imaginable. And for some reason I'm just not allowed to target the little guys. So with these little fuck jobs are just constantly targeting me, I can't do anything about it. I'm gonna keep rolling around the place. See, this is what I mean. You can't, you can't dodge this fat fuck. He takes up the entire screen. Like, look, I can't even see past him. It's just annoying. Like, he's not good. He's just like you can't target the little shits. So he's just getting constantly penetrated in the ass by their little poison gas or whatever the hell it is. And then on top of that, like I'm stuck fighting this dumbass. Oh, it's just annoying. Like, he's not hard. It's just obnoxious. I want to kill it. Silly me. I thought I would be able to attack, but this game doesn't like me attacking. I'm just going to let them fight. Oh, Rumel's down. I'm just gonna keep swinging on it. Oh, oh I accidentally pressed plus. Oh, this thing, like, it's physically irritating. Because I can't fucking fight him. This fat fuck just keeps jumping every two seconds. And I'm not allowed to target these little fuckers on the floor because the lock-on system in this game is fucking terrible. Like, I've literally pressed every button imaginable and nothing lets me target it. So I'm just stuck targeting this guy where these little slimes climb up my asshole. I'm going to be back. I'm, I'll come back when I'm close to beating it. Okay, so we're back. We're, it's only taking me three tries. I actually... I ended up just uh, uh, getting my talent, whatever it's called, getting my skills up. I got my skills up and then, oh, I, I upgraded Shion and uh, Rinwell's skills actually. Because I, I never end up putting their skills on and 
I know there's a huge difference now that they've uh, got abilities. Though this stun is so annoying. I literally have this stun every two seconds. It's quite frustrating, not gonna lie. One thing I will say though, I did finally figure out how to, uh, wait, uh, medicine across the area that restores to all, is it all allies? I'm gonna go. Haha, I have these potions. This works. I'd really like them to, uh. We're gonna use one, stop it. What are we on? Oh, we've got a few of these. I can't recast. Well, that sucks. Right now, at this point, I'm just trying to stall just a little bit, just so I can get my health back. Wait, let's use one more. I'm just gonna let them do it. I'm just gonna keep rolling around here. They can't hit me. They can't. We're going in. Let me kill this. I'm. S Took me three tries, but my god, this thing was annoying. I, by the way, I finally figured out, I, well, I say I finally figured out, I think I figured out how to change targets, though it is, it was quite annoying, not gonna lie. Rinwell, spell canceler. So I did power up a lot of her abilities. They've all been powered up, but actually, the only one that didn't get powered up was, uh, Elfin, because I still don't have any points for him, I did that, like... I'm not gonna lie, that fight was annoying. It wasn't even that it was hard. The fat blob literally jumps every two seconds and I don't know if you noticed, but I'm literally stunned every two seconds. I don't know what's stunning me, but something keeps stunning me and I'm just permanently stunned and it's so irritating. Like I would like to play the game, but I literally spent 98% of that game, uh, that fight stunned. You okay? Bracket? What are you doing here? When I heard the snake eyes had attacked, I figured you'd probably be headed this way sooner. Or he later. snitched them in. Come on, it won't be long before they sniff us out. We need to find safer ground. What about the others we left behind? Minnick can handle himself. Have a little faith. Come on, follow me. I feel it sus that why the whole group's there, he's out here. I reckon he, he snitched them in. Little bitch. Right, do we have a in around? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hmm, there's no in. We'll go down here. Actually, I want to get this quest first while I'm here. We'll go to the star, and then I think we'll probably call it here. That blob took me uh, quite some time. And if I want to get this record, if I want to get this filmed, uh, not, uh, if I want to get this up, I need to uh, get it rendered soon. Is something wrong? Hmm. Yeah, you can say that. You know the hidden passage that connects Kisolden to the outside world? Well, on the way back from there, I spilled some food uh, outside the entrance. Mm. The smell of it attracted Zoogles, and now it's too dangerous to cross through the path, that path. Not much point taking the... talking to Brigan about it, either. Everyone in the Silver Sword is too busy. We'll handle it. Hey. That sounds like a big problem. That path's the only way into into and out of town at this point, right? Have the Zoogles gotten into the pathway itself? Not yet, thankfully. They've just been hanging around the entrance. Why are you thinking of helping? Hmm. I know it's a lot to ask right now, but yes. it's fine. We'll take care of it. It's not something we can afford to ignore. Thank you. I owe you all big time. Just be careful, there's a lot of Zoogles crawling. I'm gonna be honest. Got it. Zoogles are not that much of a threat. They never have been. Even the dog wasn't that annoying. No, we don't need to target you. Alright. Which way are we going? We're going here. In hopes that maybe there's a inn or something in here, and then we'll uh call it.
How many of these hideouts do you guys have exactly? Enough. You can never be too careful these days. We even keep some of them secret from each other. So long as you don't let anyone tail you, you're welcome to use them as you please. So what's our plan of action? We're still going to rescue Zephyr, right? That goes without saying. If only we knew where he was, we could... Hey! You're gonna want to see this! Found guilty of all charges. The Calaglian dissident will forthwith be executed in witness of His Excellency Lord Ganabel. Clause 2 of the Special Curfew Act has been initiated with immediate effect throughout the realm. All Danans not involved in special duties or corrective labor must remain indoors until further notice and watch the execution broadcast. Any citizens found in breach of this protocol will be arrested as dissidents. This is a direct order. Repeat, this is a you public announcement. You think they're talking about your friend? But I thought... But Law said... I thought we had days, not hours. Looks like it's been brought forward. Just hold on. Where do you think you're going? We don't even have a plan yet. Screw the damn plan! If we don't leave now, Zephyr's going to be murdered! Alpin, we've gotta go. The clock's ticking. <sighs> and Rin Rinwell's on outside. We've all gotta go some way, I guess. We'll join up with you afterwards. We might be able to create a diversion. Good idea. Let's go. We have to get to the plaza. Well, oh, before we go anywhere, definitely healing because we have no health left at all, ever. I'm still using this. Also, if there's a shop, I might, I need to buy just a bunch of those. Maybe try bigger ones. Okay, 60, 60 uh, CP is not enough. As soon as I get one, like as soon as I use one heal, like that's all gone already. Let's actually, I want to check something. Wait, I have like none of these. Let's sit on 10. I know you are. Wait, there's more. Wait, Onyx Mail. Did we not get this before? Unfortunately, they don't have. Hmm. They're the revives, which is good. They don't have. I just put on it, why not? Got no hey, do we want wait, one sec? Can we make a better sword? I doubt it, but I mean, it's no. Wait, that sword looks sick. That one looks it's 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 up in the air, but looking all right and absolute weird. Damn it. Zephyr and the others will be okay, right? Let's just get that should fast. help us out. We're more stored now. We've got better armor. I want to see something, by the way, before I... Oh, we got... Oh, that's what we got. So it's a cosmetic that we unlocked. It's just a black version of what we're wearing. All right, fair enough. Anyway, we are going to call this here. We've done a fair bit. Uh, so I guess tomorrow we're just going to jump into... Uh, we're going to jump into saving uh, Zephyr, I guess. So I think tomorrow is going to be a, a pretty big of what's going to happen. Oh, go down anyway. But uh, just quickly before we end, uh, two things. One, again, I do apologize for the fact that the Marvel Future Revolutions uh, thing was a little bit... Uh, it's it's not bad. It's going back to the resolution it was originally. Uh, but obviously, uh, with my... Because I have a, a certain scene for my phone... So uh, my setup scene is so it's 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 not stretched, but it's more zoomed in. So you don't see the black like lines on the side. Like I've cut, I've made sure so the screen will go goes against the thing. So it cuts off that. But uh, I forgot to change my scene during uh, recording that. So it's currently on my PlayStation one. 
So uh, it's, yeah, it's... The resolution's the same, but it's just the screen's smaller. But that being said, uh, tomorrow we do have a new game coming out, so do stay tuned for that. It's called uh, uh, what's it? Uh, Origami 2. There is a first one that's on Steam, apparently. I've never played it. Uh, I didn't even know the series was a thing before Sunday, but the game looks really cool. It's kind of like a mix between like Ghost Tsushima and uh, if you guys remember the two episodes I have done on it, uh, Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. We will go back to that, by the way. Uh, we will eventually. We've been done two episodes. That's been on pause for a month, but we will go back to. We will finish all this stuff off. Uh, obviously, just new games. I just wanted to more focus on the newer games because obviously we haven't had any for two months, uh, considering COVID keeps putting everything sent back. But anyway, that being said, uh, I will be back in tomorrow. Uh, as I said during Marvel, though, uh, I'm going to try and ground that up. If I can't, there will be two videos. If I can get uh, my squad rank up, uh, then there will be three videos tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, on that note, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Know when the videos go live. And yeah, I'll be back in tomorrow. So until then, take care and peace out.